In this question, we want to find the probability that chord AB will be at least 2 root 3 units long. To begin, we will draw a circle with diameter 4 and randomly select a point A on the circumference. Now if we randomly select a second point, point B on the circumference, what is the probability that the second point will be more than 2 root 3 units away from the first point, point A? Well, to begin, let's locate a point on the circle that is exactly 2 root 3 units away from point A. To do this, we can draw a line with length 2 root 3 and swing it around until the tip crosses the circle. If we let this point be point B, then we have located a point that is exactly 2 root 3 units away from point A. We can use a similar process to find a second point that is exactly 2 root 3 units away from point A as well. From here, we need to recognize that if we place point B anywhere on the blue portion of the circumference, then the length of chord AB will be less than 2 root 3. Conversely, if we place point B anywhere on the gold portion of the circumference, the length of chord AB will be greater than 2 root 3. Since we want to find the probability that the length of chord AB will be greater than or equal to 2 root 3, we essentially want to find the probability that point B lies on the gold portion of the circumference. So our question now boils down to this. What portion of the entire circumference is gold? If we know what portion of the entire circumference is gold, then we can determine the likelihood that a randomly selected point will be on the gold portion. To determine this, let's first add the center of the circle and then draw two radii. Since the radii must have equal length, these two sides both have length 2, which means we have an isosceles triangle here. Now an important property of isosceles triangles is that their altitudes bisect their base, which means the two subsequent sides here will each have length root 3. At this point, this right triangle should look familiar. Its sides are that of a special 30-60-90 triangle, which means this angle here must be 30 degrees. From here, we can see that since this is an isosceles triangle, this angle must be 30 degrees as well, and the third angle must be 120 degrees. Now we can apply similar logic to show that this isosceles triangle has the same measurements as the first isosceles triangle. So this angle must also be 120 degrees. At this point, we're almost done. We already know two central angles here, and since all three central angles must add to 360 degrees, we know that the third angle must be 120 degrees. So of the 360 degrees in the complete circle, the gold portion comprises 120 degrees. This means that the probability is 120 over 360 that a randomly selected point will be on the gold portion of the circumference. We can simplify this to be one-third, so the probability is one-third that the length of chord AB will be greater than or equal to 2 root 3 units long.